Welcome to Camping with the Coles. Today I'm going to replace the bathroom faucet. I'm going to go from this, which came with the trailer, to this residential faucet. I don't know about you, but I don't like these yucky knobs, and I don't like this low rising faucet. Instead we're going to go with the gooseneck. For our faucet, you need to get a two hole faucet with uh, four inches center to center. And you can pick whatever faucet you like. Um, we just went with the Moen SE. All the tools that you will need are these guys, just your hands. First things first, we don't want to make a mess. So what we're going to do is turn off the city water, then turn off the water pump. Next. Open the faucet up fully to relieve pressure in the pipes. We go outside and we open the low point hot and cold water drains. Now let's have a look underneath. Okay, so let's disconnect the hot water first. And the cold water. There we go. Okay, so there's no water coming out because we drained everything from the start. Now we will loosen the nuts on the hot water side. Easy peasy. There we go. All right, we'll give that a quick little clean. Okay, perfect. We are ready to install the faucet. You do not need any uh, plumber's putty because this plastic on the bottom creates a tight seal. Now we will put the nuts on and you want the flat side facing up. Make sure you don't cross thread it. Okay, make these as tight as you can with your hands without any tools. Okay. Okay, now we're going to attach the hoses. We don't need any plumber's tape because the plastic will form a tight seal with the metal. Okay, there you have it, all done. Okay, now we'll go in reverse order. We will put the caps back in the low drain. Check the low and see if there's any wetness. Doesn't appear to be any coming out. That's a good sign. I think we did good. Two thumbs up. Before I turn on the faucets, I'm going to take off the head of the faucet here and turn the water on to clear out any uh, gunk from the factory. And we have water. I can just turn it on with a finger. I don't have to use my full hands to crank it around. There you have it. Easy breezy. A very simple, easy installation. That took maybe 10-15 minutes. Anyone can do it. Um, we'll be seeing you down the road. Thanks. Bye.